Hey guys, so today I got a 2001 Honda Civic. It goes 2001 through 2005. Actually, I think this one like a 04 or something like that, or 05. But anyways, we have a no crank, no start situation. And there's four pretty common things. It could be a battery connection, could be a bad battery itself, could be a bad starter, could be an ignition switch. The ignition switch is the least common. But I'm gonna just walk you through real quick how to check all those. First, just look at your battery connection. Make sure your wires aren't wiggling in the connector. Make sure your terminal isn't just spinning freely on the actual battery because that'll cause it to click and make you think it's a starter, but it's just the connection. Um, you can replace the connection if it's all green and all nasty. That could be a big problem. That's really common. And next is the actual battery itself. Say this one has 12.4 volts. 12.6 is fully charged. Say it's fully charged and you get you a tool like this, link below in the video description for the battery tester. And what you do is you just hit it, SL1, cold cranking amps. We're gonna say 550, I think this one, 530, but it'll tell you anyways. So 356, so this one's a low charge and it's still gonna crank the car. But if you had a fully charged battery and say it says 100 volt or 100 amps, you know, hey, this battery's bad and it's not going to actually crank your car. Now, <clears throat> that's two of the issues. Next issue, <clears throat> excuse me, would be your starter. So on this car, so it's your Honda Civic, you're going to have to take this air box off to be able to test this. And if the car is manual, you're going to want to make sure it's not in gear, your e-brake is up. Because if you do this and your starter is good, the car can run over you. So you're gonna come down. I think on most of your cars, there's gonna be a rubber boot um, covering this piece right here. But this is your control wire. You have to pull that rubber boot up and then stick your piece on there. And hey, it's working. So we replaced this starter before it was not working. And we actually had a bad new starter on this one. I made a video about that. We put it on and the gear was not kicking out and you'd hit it and it'd be whoa so that's another thing is if you if you ever replace a part because you think it, it it is what it is and you have a different new problem from that new part it's uh, possible you have a bad new part if you replace your part and you have the same exact issue and you did not diagnose it chances are you didn't actually fix the problem so anyways that is that right there the next thing you can do with this power probe link below in the video description for this tool is you have somebody get in the car so let's say you do that and it does nothing at that point you still don't know if it's a starter what you do is you'd hold it on here have the person turn the key to start the car and if you show voltage if this thing lit up red you'd know hey when you turn the key it is sending signal so we would know that it was a bad starter if we did that it started and he turned the key to start it and nothing happened. We're not getting signal. We know there's some either a connection problem or a bad ignition switch. It could be a starter relay, starter fuse, or the actual ignition switch. So anyways, that's a real quick, brief kind of no crank, no start diagnosis procedure. That covers all the basics. If this video was helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment down below. Thank you all so much for doing that and I'll see you next time.